Lions TV, this is a post-match analysis video for last night's 1-0 London Derby victory over Ian Holloway at the Den. <sighs> Turned out to be a bit of an anti-climax, which I'll get on to very, very shortly, but a packed Den, a game under the lights, you can't beat it. Let's take a look at the 11 that started the match. There was only one change from the side that drew 2-2 two -two Wolves on Boxing Day. It was Jordan Archer in goal. Marlon Romeo come back in at right back. Left back was James Meredith. Jake Cooper and Sean Hutchinson continued in the centre of defence. Jeb Wallace on the right. Aidan O'Brien kept his place on the left. Central midfield was George Savile, but Ryan Tunnicliffe come in and Sean Williams dropped out. And then up front, we saw the return of the general, our leader, our smiling Silver Fox, Steve Morrison, the partner Lee Gregory, up front. Was that 11 I would have picked? With the exception of the goalkeeper, yeah, pretty much. I think... You know, I've, I've been critical of Tunnicliffe in, in, in previous weeks. He has got stronger and stronger. And although I think Williams is the better player, he didn't look ready. He didn't look ready to me against, against Boxing Day. I think it's it a bit too soon for him. He didn't look completely fit. So I think it was the right decision to bring Tunnicliffe back in. And yeah, it was a game that everyone was, you know, like, it's like a few people said in my, my post-match interviews. Everyone was so up for Holloway that we forgot that we actually had to play QPR. When I mean, the game started... QPR, the players, didn't personally give a fuck. They always used to be our manager, and they just they had their, they had their task about them. We gave them plenty of grief for the first start, but after that, I've got to say, the QPR fans made plenty of noise, and we sort of died a death. There was a lot of day trippers yesterday. Someone commented on my tweet at half-time, and there was a lot and a lot of day trippers there. There was um, there was like a couple of Bosnian car washers in my part. There was, uh, there was some German guys asking where their seats were and asking why they couldn't bring beers into the, into the stadium. So... Listen, it's not a bad thing. We, we need all the support we can get. We're, it shows we're reaching out to, to a bigger audience. And it's not a bad thing. You know, welcome these people with open arms. It's the way the world's going these days. But yeah, it was it was subdued. It was subdued in the first half. QPR didn't look like they had much. But what they did look like they had pace up front. Jordan Archer was really troubled. I remember one header was, was straight out, which he saved. But other than that, yeah, looking back at the highlights, we did have the better of the first half. Lee Gregory does well to turn. And in my, to be honest, he probably should have done better than he did. And also, Jeb Wallace is involved in a lovely three-man move along with Marlon Romeo and someone else I can't remember. Works his way into the box and he shoots. He should go across the goalkeeper. He goes into the side netting. So yeah, half-time, we went in at nil-nil. And then, you know, half-time, people were saying to me as well in the ground, it's subdued, something's not right. But one, one of my mates said to me, which was absolutely right, is that, you know, to, you know, the players need to give us something to, to work off, maybe. So... We come out for the second half, that's exactly what happened. And 10 minutes into that second half, Jeb Wallace, I love him, he's energetic. His, his energy is never to be questioned or his commitment, but uh, some days, as in the first half yesterday, and at Aston Villa away, he's fine, the ball's not quite there. And happened a couple of times in the first half, but 55 minutes gone, he stands it up beautifully, perfectly. And on the end of it, Steve Morrison does so well because the defender should really get there. But doesn't, he must drop and Morrow doesn't watch his defender. He's, he's anticipating he's going to miss it. And he heads it into the corner for his first goal since Wembley, believe it or not. He's had a couple disallowed. Not as far as first game of the season disallowed. Wal uh, Leeds at home, sorry, disallowed. But yeah, this one did stand and, and then that was it after that. Holloway went and uh, resided in his in his dugout. Did what he does best. Hides in his dugout. And then that was it really. We was, was really troubled after that. The, the two centre arse. Were absolutely superb yesterday. They just, you know, Archer was really threatened, and they were the reason for that, as well as Romeo and Meredith. The back four there, then four were, I think, probably for me, Meredith was probably man of the match yesterday. It was a toss up between Meredith, Savile, as always, the two centre halves, and probably Gregor's up top. And it was all absolutely superb. Yeah, it was like I say, it wasn't the greatest game, it wasn't the most entertaining game, but when that final whistle went, it, it was like we won the World Cup. It was, it was unbelievable. But yeah, that's it. Another great performance from the side. Another great performance at home. Well done to the manager. Gets his, gets his spot on every time. And, and if you think about where he's taking this club, it's, it's absolutely frightening how uh, well he's done. The only worry you have these days is, I look at him and also looking at George Savile thinking, if they both carry on doing what they're doing, we're going to end up losing them. But that's, that's the risk you take. That's the chance you run. That's what happens at Millwall, unfortunately. But listen, hopefully New Harris will be here for many years to come. It's unbelievable again because he's, he's brought the buzz back. He's brought my buzz back. He's, uh, before I started the channel, I'll be honest, I wasn't going that much because I just I just weren't enjoying it. Obviously under Holloway and before and Lomas, it's just yes, yeah, he's really he's really put the buzz back about the place. The club's moving in the right direction. 
Four days to the transfer window opens though, John. That's all I want to say, mate. Get, get those dollars ready. Get, get the checkbook out because Devante Cole scored again today. And if we could sign another forward and a left midfielder, I'd be the happiest man on the planet. Yeah, so that's it. I don't think I'm going to have time to do a player ratings, VT. But what I might do is do that tomorrow because you're also going to get a pre-match prediction for Norwich, New Year's Day. Sold over a 1,000 tickets for that one, so good turnout for me all fans. I'll see you there if you're going. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.